Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to shoot a review of the upgrade that uh, Bendu Armory has started doing to their NeoPixel blades and what it is and why they've done it. So uh, first off, let me talk about NeoPixel blades and how they're constructed a little bit. And then I'll show you what Bendu Armory blades used to be like, which is what a lot of them are like, and then what they changed it to. So NeoPixel blades, uh, for instance, here is one of the ones from uh, that you'll get. This is heavily customized by me, but if you get a NeoPixel blade from LGT or POC store or one of the ones that's on AliExpress, this is pretty much what you're going to be getting. It has a connector like this. Inside the blade, there's a foam strip. Inside the foam strip is a uh, sort of cellophane or saran. And underneath that, you can kind of see there's the LED strip itself. And for theirs, they go down here to the base. All right. A lot of Sabersmiths who are using the uh, Plector Pixel parts, the construction is a little bit different. This is an older blade from Bendu Armory. So we have this, uh, this connector here that looks like this. Okay, this is called a PCB, but you don't really need to know that. Uh, inside the blade, there's a diffusion slip that's basically like another thinner blade. Inside that is a foam piece, just like the other one. And inside the foam piece, let's see if I can peel this back enough for you to be able to see. There we go. You see those wires? Okay, these are wires that connect the LED strip to the PCB. And the LED strip actually starts right about here. Now the foam catches that light and sort of diffuses it down, but the light is coming from up here a little bit. All right, put that back together. What Bendu Armory started doing, and to my knowledge they were the first ones to do this, though I think maybe a couple others are doing it now, is uh, same construction. This is a thin walled instead of a thick walled, but regular blade, diffusion, or a sort of thin diffusion blade, foam, and then the strip goes directly into the PCB. All right, now you notice one thing about the Bendu Armory strips. They're quite a bit wider than the, uh, than the ones from, uh, from LGT or POC store. All right, I don't know if that really makes that much of a difference. What it does do is it leads to a little bit of shadowing on the side because you got LEDs here, you got LEDs here, but you get a little bit of a shadow spot on the side with these that you don't get with the other ones. Uh, the other thing about these, though, is that I can do this to this one. I can't do that to the one from the, uh, from the POC store. All right, so the LEDs go all the way down to the blade, so instead of having the LEDs start up here, they start down here. Now I'm showing you this, or I'm demoing this, at the beginning of the video you noticed I had a saber up. This is not a Bendu Armory saber. This is an Electrum Sabercraft saber. The reason I'm using this is that under most circumstances, that soldering the LED strip directly to the PCB is not anything that you're going to notice a difference. It is a little bit more secure. Uh, one of the weakest spots in a saber is always going to be the wire connectors because they wiggle around, because they move, because the solder breaks and they come undone. What are getting a LED coming loose from, or the, the wire to an LED coming loose from a baselet saber was how a lot of my sabers eventually went down and had to be repaired. All right, so the less you can depend on wires, the better, in my opinion. So that's one advantage. But the light advantage is nothing that you're going to see in, for instance, a Bendu Armory saber. The light coming from down here versus the light coming from up here. You put this thing in the saber and like that much of the blade goes in. So actually more than that, I didn't put that all the way in. There we go. So that much of the blade goes in. Okay. I'm using the Electrum Sabercraft saber because, oops, because on this one, the PCB connector right there is right up against this last vent. So when I put that older Bendu Armory blade in, you can see on that last vent down there, the exact place where the saber meets, or the blade meets the saber. All right, so let me screw that in. And here is an identical, oops. Just as touchy, here we go. Here is an identical Electrum Sabercraft. 
running the newer one that has the LED soldered to the PCB. So let me turn these both on. Okay, newer blade is in the etched one, the etched saber. Older blade is in the unetched saber. All right, so let's see if I can get up there. Okay, makes connection down here. You can see a little bit of light up at the top. This one is substantially dimmer. You see that dim spot on the lower half of that? And then we're bright up to here. All right, this one. Notice how that third vent is still lit, and this one seems to be lit just as much as the other. There we go. We can still see that the third vent is not entirely lit because we've got that connector down at the bottom there, but the light comes all the way down there to the base pretty much. So their new upgrade is designed for stability, designed to make things a little bit sturdier, but it's also designed to get the light all the way down, which under most applications isn't anything that you're going to notice. Under most circumstances, it's the durability and the less reliance on wires that's going to be an issue. But under some circumstances, like for instance, things with vents, sabers with vents, some of the stuff with a small socket depth, like you're going to get from some places like Vader's Vault, uh, a couple of their models have a real small socket depth. Uh, or things with Electrum Sabercraft, uh, that bringing the light all the way down to the PCB is actually something of value. Now, one thing I would like to be clear on is that pretty much any NeoPixel blade is going to work with any NeoPixel Saber. So these from Bindu Armory had that Plector Pixel connector on the bottom that looked like that. The first one I showed you from Pox Store had that uh, LGT or Pox Store connector that looks like that. I pop this into the saber. Works just fine. Okay. Theirs also come all the way down to the base. So that light all the way to the base is something that you see in the Chinese models uh, from AliExpress. Um, but it's not something that you see in some of the higher end models because of that wire or that PCB to LED strip wire difference there in the middle. All right, now this upgrade is not an option. This is not something that you select on their site. All of their sabers now are directly soldered to the PCB. So I just wanted to, if you've got an older blade, I wanted to talk about that difference and basically uh, give you some idea that there is a difference between an older Bendu Armory saber blade and a newer Bendu Armory saber blade, and that's what it is. All right, uh, join me back next time. I'll look at KR strips because I mentioned that briefly in here and talk about the difference in illumination between a KR strip and the regular because there's been a lot of questions about that. Join me back then.